students, today we will learn how to develop a menu driven program to animate a flag user basing curve algorithm. So the objective of this program is to animate a flag. So we are going to animate an India flag, a tricolored flag. You can see the flag with orange, white, green and the flag is being hosted with a pole. So we'll see how to construct this flag using a Bayesian curve algorithm. This flag can be designed with a waveform of curve, so which is very easily obtained using the Bayesian curve. A Bayesian curve is always drawn with four points, but you can see here on the diagram the four points. The mathematical method for drawing curve was created by Fiori Bayesian in the late 1960s and this idea of Fiori Bayesian came out with the Bayesian curve algorithm and this curve is widely used in computer model to draw smooth curves, a curve which is obtained by considering only four points, the points here term P0, P1, P2, P3. So this Bayesian curve is a mathematical curve using many 2D application and the curve is defined by four points the initial position and the terminating position which are called as anchors and you have the two middle points which are called the handles so they are called handles or they are also called as control point and the two end point initial point and the end point is called and the termination point is called here as end point the shape of the Bayesian curve is very easy to alter by just moving these control points which are called the handles. And this is the equation given for a Bayesian curve for a, a curve obtained using u number of points, which is a summation of We'll see how to implement this program. Include the required library functions and uh, pi value is defined with the value 3.1.16 and float uh, variable theta of type float is initialized with value 0 and uh, n control point is initialized with value 4 and n Bayesian curve point is initialized with value 20. In the main function, glut init will initialize the glut library. Glut init display mode will set the mode for the requirement of a double buffer and the color mode is RGB mode. GLUT init window position specify the window position and GLUT init window size we have given the size width and height the 640 comma 840. GLUT create window creates a window and name the window with Bayesian curve. GLUT reshape function is a registered function that calls the callback function called reshape. GLUT display function calls the registered display function. GL clear color will set the background color of the window which is a which is a color which is defined based on what the alpha value set. GL flash will clear the buffer and force the output of the object to appear on the window. In this program we also create a menu and we had a menu with the option like draw and animate stop animation so i'm create an i create i call the registered function menu and glut had menu entry will add upon the menu name into the option of menu and glut attach menu will indicate upon which click of the mouse button the menu should pop up so glut main loop is the end of the main function which which stands with the event processing reshape function in the reshape function gl view port so the object which is mapped on to the clip plane so after the clipping which will be marked from the clip plane to the view port so gl view port function which is a 2d view port function defined with x min y min and the x max y max with the max w and h is the width and height of the window GL matrix mode will set the mode to projection mode. GL load identity function will load the matrix with the identity matrix and we set projection type of matrix. So GLU auto 2D which takes upon the four parameter value what is X min, Y min, X max, Y max of the clip plane. 
GL clear will clear the buffer. In the display function, GL clear color, so we have said what is the background color for the window. Menu function, so we create a menu and the registered function will call the menu function. In the menu function, in the switch statement, there are two cases. The first case is uh, called glut idle function, which calls the function called draw and animate. So you can see the menu option. The first option is draw and animate, and the second option is to stop the animation. So the animation here is to draw a flag and just show the movement of the flag as it, as we can see the waveform of the flag. So glut idle function will call the function draw and animate, which will draw the uh, India flag and show the animation of the flag. And the second case here is to just stop the animation of the flag. Glut post re display is required here. So until the window is open, the object will appear on the window. Draw and animate is the first uh, menu option which will draw the flag and also show the movement of the flag. And this movement of the flag is possible via using the concept behind the Bayesian curve. So we'll first initialize what are the four control points. So we have initialized the four control points here. And once we have initialized with the control points, we for every control point, we also find out what is the respective equation, which is according to the Bayesian curve algorithm. And also GL clear will clear the buffer and GL color will set what is the color of the object. Now, GL push matrix, so we make use of a stack here and so to push the matrix contents onto the tag open gl gl push matrix function is used so if we are using the line segment to draw a flag object here we can set one of the property of the line is by line width where the line width or is being initialized with the value 5 so gl color you can see the first waveform here in the object. First, the flag waveform, the curve like object is being created here and assigned with the saffron color. So we just call upon GL translate function so that the translate function will draw a Bayesian curve based on the four control points. And also we call upon again the white, uh, again the same Bayesian curve function to so draw another curve just below the orange that is white. So I, you can see that we are using a GL translate function. If this function is not used, then all these curves will just overlap on each other. So we just need a equal distancing between the curves. So I just call the GL translate function and along the negative Y axis. So you can see the negative Y axis around the distance of minus eight, the Bayesian curve has been plotted and the first curve here will plot saffron and the second curve here will plot the white color and similarly here you can see at the below the green and at the end we call gl pop matrix gl color that now we set the color for the flag pole and the width of this the color pole is also drawn again based on a line primitive so the line primitive one of the attribute here we set is line width and the size is five and how do we draw this line segment by specifying what is the start coordinate position of the line segment and what is the end point of the line segment. So we draw the pole of the flag and GL first which will post the output and GLAD post re-display which will de call the display function make the object to be appearing on the window until we close the window. GLAD swap buffer as we know the single buffer will not be enough so we always make use of a double buffer. So we'll understand the Bayesian curve, which is being used in the previous slide here, how it draws. So it is mainly based on the control point. So we have the world coordinate control point and a variable u, c, key, a pointer variable c, which is a five int. And we call the function bino here, uh, which is based on the, we pass here the parameter is the number of control points. And this Bayesian curve, again, the, the distance between this Bayesian curve should not be visible so we again have to make use of a GL line strip and see that the curve will not be appearing separately and they appear as one complete object.
and this is a binomial function which will call which computes the binomial coefficients required for the uh, drawing the bezier curve and this program which when executed you can see a flag which with a tricolor flag and you also can see the animation that is draw an animation the wavy movement of the flag on the on selection of the menu option so when you just click on the mouse a menu appears with two options draw and animate stop animation so when we click on draw an animation you can see the movement of the flag and when you want to stop the movement of the flag just press stop animation so this is the end of the program thank you